This video is about the addition formulas which I have displayed on the screen here. These formulas are given to us in the formula book so we don't have to remember these we just need to know how to use them. There are a few different uses of them which I'm going to go into in different videos which are the double angle formulas and the R formulas but I'm just going to do a quick introduction to these formulas in this video. So to read them, so we've got sine A plus or minus B on the left side and sine A cos B plus minus cos A sine B on the right side. So there's two different formulas hidden in the same formula. So if we use a top sign from the left side, that goes with a top sign from the right side and if we use the bottom sign from the left that's the bottom sign from the right so that means we could have sine a plus b is equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b or we could have sine a minus b is equal to sine a cos b minus cos a sine b and the same works for the other ones so for cos a plus b we have a minus on the right side so that's cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b and for cos A minus B, we have cos A cos B plus, so the bottom sign on the left goes to the bottom sign on the right, plus sine A sine B. And the same for tan. So if we have a plus top sign on the left, that goes with the top signs from the right side so tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a tan b and tan a minus b goes with tan A minus tan B over 1 plus tan A tan B. So if we use a top sign on the left side, we use a top sign on the right side and so on. Bottom sign goes with the bottom signs. Okay, now we're going to look at using these formulas just to convert from one side to the other. So just to make sure that we know how to use them. So we've got sine A, nope, sine 23 cos 17 plus cos 23 sine 17. So we've got to see which formula it looks like. So the one, the one with sine cos and cos sine is sine A plus or minus B. So we know it's going to be either sine A plus b or sine a minus b so that's sine a cos b plus or minus cos a sine b so if we have a plus in the middle here to match it up that means we need a plus on the left side because the top sign goes to the top sign and here a is 23 so A is 23, B is 17, A is 23, B is 17. So that means we've got sine 23 plus 17, which we can write as sine 40. And if we wanted to check on our calculator, we could check that sine 40 is the same as sine 23 cos 17 plus cos 23 sine 17. So we can check that on the calculator. Okay, the second one, we've got cos cos and sine sine. 
So that's cos. So it's either cos A plus B or cos A minus B, which is cos A cos B plus or minus sine A sine B. We've got a plus in the middle here, so using the bottom sign, which means we can have a minus in the middle here. Then A is 45 and B is 20. So cos 45 minus 20 and that is cos 25. And again, we can check that on the calculator. And finally, tan. So we've got, we know it's going to be tan. So tan either A plus B or minus B. And if we've got a plus here, that means we're using the top signs. So we've got a plus here and a minus on the bottom. So A is 21, B is 10, so we've got tan 21 plus 10, which is tan 31. Okay, here's some for you to try. So just expressing these as a single trigonometric ratio. Okay, the first one, we've got cos, cos, and sine, sine. Cos, cos, sine, sine. A minus in the middle, so that means it's cos A plus B. So cos A plus B. A and B, so that's cos 23 plus 17, which is cos 40. So for the second one, we've got sine cos and cos sine so sine cos and cos sine so that's sine a plus or minus b we've got a minus in the middle so we're using the bottom signs so it's sine a minus b so we've got a and b so sine 57 take away 45 which is sine 12. And finally, we've got tan. So it's the tan formula. We're using the bottom signs here. So that's tan A minus B. And we've got 47 and 12. So A is 47. B is 12. So we've got tan 35. 